Thank you guys so much for checking out the second episode of LFK TV. As you'll see in this episode, I have an absolute blast catching largemouth bass on the fly. The only way that this is possible, especially in smaller bodies of water in Colorado, is if we practice catch and release. So if you are going to fish some of these smaller bodies of water, I highly, highly encourage you to release all the bass you catch. What's up guys? Welcome to the second episode of LFK TV. I'm joined with Matt Mascarenas, who used to be my partner with LFK, but he's expanded his horizons with Outdoor Ed. Outdoor Ed, yep. We're going to talk about that more, but what we're doing right now, guys, is we're at a little bass pond. We've got fly rods. He's got a five weight. I got a seven weight. We got some buggy looking flies. We're just trying to catch a couple bass, have some fun, and show you guys that it doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be difficult. This is the first time I've ever warm water fly fished ever in my life. So if you're in for a comedy show, <laughs> get, get bu buckled in and get ready. And my instruction has been so far, just fling it out there yeah, and it, make it look buggy. It, it's it's yeah, it's it's a good it's a good uh, um, instruction because it's like I don't know what I'm doing, so just figure out maybe maybe I'm doing something something that I don't know what I'm doing might work. Who knows? But but you know how to fish. That, that's, that's bottom true, line. Yeah, and, it, yeah. and it's always when it comes to fishing with stuff that I like to do. Uh, it's kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. I, I see that. I know. I think that's what I'm hot, caught on. Here, let me see it. Let like I know some secret Well, you trick. might, dude. Yeah. Like I, I can get stuff out with a regular rod and reel pretty easy. There you go. Come on. Almost there. I was doing so good too. Oh, oh my. There we go. Boy. Look at that. I did that the second time to get all the stuff off. You are the fly. And then we're saying if we had a gold minnows and braid and frogs, we would get them right now. Oh god dude. Is he on it? Oh. He's got oh. his mouth. That's a good fish. Look at there. <laughs> was that the crazy? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm going to edit out all the... <laughs> oh, oh, dang it. That's, That's a legit bass. You need help? I got him. So, we, we weren't getting bit, as you can hear, and uh, I just switched switched up to something crazy, and uh, I got rewarded. I don't know what the footage is going to be like, but... Oh. A lot of blurps. That's a good one. That's the biggest one that's been rolling by all day. And I got somebody else's line right here. I'll uh, I'll clean this line up here in a little bit. And I want to show you guys the fly. <laughs> what's the what's the fly called? I don't know. My buddy Matt Neverman, 2020 I venue. He gave me a bunch of flies. This is one of them. Guys, you can go uh, searching around all over the metro area for somewhere to catch bass. But this time of year, these little neighborhood ponds all over the metro area, it doesn't matter where. You can have fun. And it doesn't have to be difficult. Like I've been telling Matt, just throw something on that looks buggy yep. and uh, just do your thing. You know what I mean? These little bass will hit. The area we're fishing right now gets hit really hard. But you never know. That's funny. I think he's on it. Is he swimming away with my fly in his mouth? <laughs> well, that's like the same way the mindset I should have had earlier when I had that launch take mine. Was just let it chew on it a little bit. I said, look too fast. Well, I mean, it, it's it's hard when you're used to the thump. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the... The tick, 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 boom. Dude, is there something about this little fly that they like? Because now i got another one on it. Well, I see that orange you got on it that might be the, the color here there's always a color somewhere wouldn't you say so yeah H hester was talking uh, i can't say where he was on a bite or what color he was using but he found that they would only hit one color and it was a real weird color i guess they were just going nuts on it that's so weird oh dude oh <laughs> that's it that's it what you're gonna have to go tie a bunch of those up right now 
dude, I'm gonna have to call Matt and be like, hey dude, uh, I need a lot of those ugly flies that you made. Hey, uh, reload on the ugly flies. Extra ugly, please. Oh! <laughs> it's that bee. Call up Neverman. Stat! That's a, you know what it could be, too? They may have just turned on. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just... It was just a spot they were just loading up on. Oh, you son of a mother. <laughs> All right, guys, real quick. This is the fly I'm using. I do not know what it's called. <laughs> Matt Neverman gave it to me because uh, we got a Hey Buddy thing. So whenever I send him a text or he sends me one that starts with Hey Buddy, it means we need something. So the other day I was like, Hey buddy, I'm uh, I'm heading out. I need some streamers, and uh, got a pack of streamers, and also this little number, and I don't even know what it is. I don't know what it's called. But it is a number, I'll tell you that much. There's one right there. So me and Matt have decided that it's about the bead. It, yeah, I think so. Sure, it surely isn't my casting, I can tell you that. Now, how does that, was that, would that matter a bunch right now? I mean, because we're, we're not being really really like cautious about water and stuff like that so with this kind of bite would that make if we're if we're laying it on there gracefully would that matter at all nope the late great uh gals alkire said just fling the damn thing out there and actually sometimes when they make noise it helps the bite because it helps those fish key in on where it's coming from yeah oh there he is See, I, I don't buy into the, um, you know what I mean? You, you have to be super delicate and this, that, and the other. And place it correctly. Yeah, dude, it's fishing. Yeah. Guys, fly fishing doesn't have to be hard. I've got a couple fish feeding in this little area right here using the same fly I have been using. And I'm using my fly rod like a cane pole, just dipping this bad boy out. See, that one wasn't far enough. i got to get a little further. Now, I'm not fishing the Giants by all means, but it just goes to show that, uh, oh, dude, I got one on it. I got a couple of them on it. <laughs> Can you see all of them right there? Yeah, I, I can't see them all. Oh, you see? got them. It's not a Giant, but it's so much fun. So here we go, guys. Same thing. Just dink and dunk. Okay, I, this is, I'm using it more like a cane pole than I am a fly rod. But it's just a tool. You know what I mean? It's it's not. Oh, there's a nice fish back there. Oh my god. Okay, if I can just get it right next to that tree. <laughs> so I'm I'm trying to catch these little ones for you guys, and there's a, a legit fish back in there. But it's fun. You know what I mean? It's not it's not rocket science. I'm just flipping it out. See, that's a good little flip. Good little flip, right in the middle of a little wolf pack. And they're not looking, <laughs> but they will. Okay, see, I got one on it. So I hear a lot of guys, even talking to Matt, you know, intimidated about fly fishing. There's nothing intimidating about just using a tool. You know what I mean? It's not, you're not Brad Pitt. Anybody watching this with the fly rod, you're not Brad Pitt. And you don't have to be. Let's see if I can find another one. All right, guys. So Matt had to go pick up Max. He's walking away right now, but I couldn't. I couldn't just leave. We're, we're going to come back today. There's a couple bass feeding right here. Uh, this is a one-man show deal right now. So uh, let me show you the fly. Makes zero sense. Okay. It's got that orange bead and a black body, but they've just been crushing it. Let's see if we can't get a couple to eat.
It's not big, but it's a ton of fun. And anybody can do it. If you got a fly rod, you can do this. Hey guys, anybody can do it. Super, super simple. Take a look at that fly down there. Barbless, just pops right off. Again, Jumbo John, and just put it in front of him. up in a garbage bag it's not a big fish but anybody can do this and it's a ton of fun I'll try to get some uh, a view for you guys to see exactly how I'm do using the fly but it's none of this is hard it's all super super simple and he had a couple buddies with him that I think they want to eat too Thanks for checking out the second episode of LFK TV. Today I was joined, well partially, part of the day I was joined by Matt Mascarenas. He was on yep. dad duty. Yep. But you got to see what warm water fly fishing is about. Oh, it was awesome. It was awesome. And, and today was one of those those days where I want, I've been wanting to get out here and do this with you. You've been telling me about it for so long and I made time to do it. Yep. Even though I was still kind of, you know, had to go pick the kid and I was on dad duty. So I got enough of it. I got a couple chances to set some hooks. And, and you got to see it's easy. It, it, it's really easy, yeah. and that's what we were talking about. And you'll see that in the in the, in the episode, and uh, when we talk next week, um, how easy it was. I was kind of intimidated. I'm thinking you have to make a perfect cast. You can't yeah. throw the line on the water, all that stuff. But you helped me understand. It's it's easy. It, it's super easy. It's easy to get into. It. It's not easy to catch fish, but it's easy to get into it and do it. Well, and it's fun. Even it's if fun. you're not catching fish, it's fun. Uh, the, the easiest way I've heard somebody explain casting was Michael York. I, I think a guide told him this. Yeah. Uh, hello, the phone's for you. That's all you gotta do. Just whip the damn thing in front of you, mm -hmm. make it look like a crawdad or uh, some type of bug that's small if you wanna catch yeah. the bass that are all over the front range. I'm talking those bass in the eight to 12 inch range. And you're just gonna have a, a ton of fun and that's what fishing's all about. You know, if you wanna come out and you wanna target say uh, bass in the four to five pound range, that's a lot different task on a fly rod. But if you just wanna have a ton of fun don't worry about what size fly rod you have. Don't worry if it's a five, six, seven. Just take what you have, get a couple of flies that look like crawdads, mm -hmm. and go to your local lake and have some fun. Have some fun. Yep, and that's you, what got, you got about. about a month. You got about a month before it starts getting a little bit cooler and the bite slows down. But you got about a month to have a ton of fun and catch a lot of fish. Yep, definitely. So thanks a lot again, guys. Tune in to the LFK podcast next Wednesday. I'm going to be talking with Matt. We're going to be talking about outdoor ed. 
brown trout fishing, lake trout fishing. Round two's coming up. Brookie Round fishing. Two. Oh, and we're going in depth about Dude's Weekend. Dude's Weekend. Thanks a ton, guys. Yep. A special thanks goes out to Matt Mascarenas of the Outdoor Ed Podcast for fishing with me today, and of course our partners, 2020 iVenue, Bass Pro Shops Denver, and Eagle Claw.